Hey, this is Brent with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this vanity or desk that we're going to redo. Just a fun little project here. So hit that subscribe button and let's get this project started. All right, overall good condition. Um, desks, vanities, they're not the most popular thing to purchase, but this came with uh, some other pieces that we had, and well, we don't want to throw anything away. Let's see what we can do and see if we can make any money off of it. So, three drawers, we'll pull the drawers, we'll take the hardware off, we're gonna sand this piece down. Yeah, there's no drawer there. I thought there might have been, but we'll sand it all down, uh, we'll paint it, we'll give it a nice vintage scuff look, and then we'll try to post it for sale. So, not too bad of a project. There is a lot of surface space here. I think that's what catches most people off guard is there's a lot to paint here, even though you have this big open gap here. You've got all the inside, all this is exposed, so it needs to all be painted. And that's tedious, but we'll get it done. So, first step, hardware off, and then we'll start staining or sanding this piece down, paint it, and go from there. We can get on to sanding here. 80 grit sandpaper, DeWalt sander, any flat areas, we'll hit that with it. Uh, any areas that are round, well, we'll pull the sandpaper off, we'll sand it down. Just want to make sure we get a good scuff over things so the paint can stick really nice. And remember, this top is going to have a lot of use, so we really want to make sure we get a good adherence to that paint. Do the two or the three drawers, and well, we'll make a pretty quick project out of this. vacuumed it out, wiped it down, and now we can start painting. So we're going to use our Bare Premium Plus. The color is blackout. The finish is eggshell. Uh, it's got an old brush. If you take care of these, they last quite a long time through the project. So um, I try to maintain those as best as I can and get quite a few projects done. So pull the drawers again. We'll paint those. Two coats for everything. Um, and then from there, we'll let it dry, and then we'll start scuffing it. And that might be a step that you might want to skip. So let's get started by painting. on we've let it dry and now what we're gonna do is scuff it up give it that vintage style that farm style look to this piece now this is definitely a skip, step you could skip if you want to move forward into waxing and just leave it solid that's perfectly fine but well we're gonna spend a few minutes giving this a vintage look and we got our old 80 grit sandpaper that we used at the beginning of this video that we're just gonna use again to scuff this up so we'll go over the piece nice and lightly We'll get it a little bit worn in, we'll do the drawers too, and then we can start waxing. Here we go.
sucked it up a little bit and now we can start waxing it. So we're going to use Citrus Shield by Howard. It's just a neutral paste wax. Got an old sock here. And well, we'll go over this piece, wax it down, and then we can start adding hardware. So the next time you see this piece, it's going to be finished and we'll see what the end product looks like. So let's get started waxing. Here it is completed. We waxed it last night and this morning, well, my supervisor wanted to come out and take a look at it, make sure it's all ready to go. We sanded it down, we took the hardware off, we painted it blackout black by Bear Premium. We scuffed it up and then we waxed it and brought it back to life. Well, the end result is pretty neat and I think it's gonna sell well. Think so? Yeah. If you like this project and many of others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, we'll keep doing some pretty cool projects. I know my supervisor is going to keep me pretty busy over the next couple months. Let's go.